Today, Eufy is announcing the new Eufy Cam 3 and Homebase 3, which I've been trying out for about a week. And while the specs are impressive, 4K resolution, a built-in solar panel, a starlight sensor, facial recognition, and expandable storage where you can actually slide a hard drive inside. Not only that, but the new Homebase 3 will actually help your existing Eufy cameras, which I'm excited to tell you about. But as I was testing everything, there were a couple of plot twists along the way, both good and bad that you'll definitely want to hear about. So first, Eufy did send me this camera early to test out for you, but they had no influence on what I would say, no money was exchanged, and they're seeing this video for the first time right now. Alright, this is Eufy's first 4K camera, and it's actually pretty slim. I think this is great because it's not as big of an eyesore mounted on the front of my house. I'm surprised how small of a camera they were able to pack everything into, especially comparing the size with Eufy's S40 2K solar power camera, which has almost the same battery size. The battery is supposed to last a year without needing to recharge, and it has a USB-C port for charging, which I love to see. Ideally, you won't ever have to charge it though because the top of the camera has solar panels. Two hours of sunlight a day is supposed to keep this completely charged up. I think solar is a must-have for battery-powered cameras, and I'll go over later how well the solar actually worked for me. When I set these up, I was reminded how easy it is to install Eufy cameras. The mount only has two screws, and I had everything up and running in a few minutes. One reason I've always been a fan of Eufy is that they're big on no monthly fees at all. And that's because all of their storage and AI are done locally on their home base and not the cloud. So this is the home base 3 that you can purchase with the new cameras. And it has some similarities to the old versions, including 16 gigabytes of onboard storage built in. This will give you a few months of video clip recordings, and that might be plenty for most people. But this new home base actually has expandable storage for a hard drive. Remove the top cover, take out the small screw, and then you can slide out the hard drive tray. And using a 2.5 inch hard drive, you can add up to 16 terabytes of storage, which is just a crazy amount of storage. I mean, Yuffie says that 4 terabytes will give you 60 years of video clip recordings. I mean, is that even necessary? Do I need my great, great, great grandchildren to watch? clips of 2022 of me washing my car in the driveway. What's awesome though is that most existing Eufy cameras and doorbells will eventually work with this Homebase 3, so all of your footage can be stored centrally on the hard drive. Up until now, Eufy has been kind of a mess with some cameras working with the old base stations and some of them not. So it's great to see most cameras working with one base station now and being a little more unified. And with all of that storage, I was hoping that we'd be able to get 24-7 video recording. But Yuffie says that will only happen for indoor cameras that are wired. Which is good, but not great because those cameras could already record 24-7 to a micro SD card. But the thing that did surprise me was any existing Yuffie camera or doorbell that will connect to this Homebase 3 will get upgraded functionality like pet and vehicle detection. More on that in a second. But I do love that all of these features do not require a monthly fee. I wish more companies would do this. Okay, now let's take a look at the video footage. This is a 4K camera, but I was worried about how it would actually look being a wireless camera. I was surprised to find that it's actually really good. I held up a license plate from the street, and you can easily read it. So I decided to risk my life and step further back into the middle of the street. It's still readable at the edge of the screen, and I didn't get hit by a car, so success. For comparison, this is footage of the older Eufy 2K solar camera, and the footage doesn't look bad, but compare it with the new 4K camera, and there's a noticeable difference. I don't know if it's enough to replace the 2K camera, but if the prices were similar, like if the older 2K solar camera was still around 200 bucks, I would definitely pay a little extra for this improved resolution and better features. Speaking of which, you need to know a few other surprises I came across with these new features. Yuffie is saying the new camera has a starlight sensor for color night vision. Let's see how well it works. Using just the infrared for the black and white mode, it looks great with plenty of detail. 
The low light sensor seems to be helping, and when the string lights are on, I can see detail in my face from far away. It does have a little LED spotlight for color night vision. I would not use this though. The ghosting is so bad when I walk around and my whole body almost disappears. So even though the color night vision is there as a selling point, I think it's pretty much unusable if anyone's moving around. On the bright side, I showed my kids this footage and now they never want to stay up past bedtime. So thanks Yuffie for the help. Personally, I would leave it in black and white mode, and if there are porch lights on, then it will still be in color like it is here in front of my house. And automating some lights to turn on for motion will always help these kind of issues. Now let's get into the camera's solar, which I think is one of the camera's best features. And I want to share how the solar on these cameras work for me in the different areas of my house. But first, I want to show you the solar-powered portable power station from our sponsor, EcoFlow. This is the new Delta II, and it can power up to 15 devices with 1800 watts of output. But what I love is that you can connect it to some EcoFlow solar panels to charge this thing up. The protective carrying case can actually be used as a stand to angle the panels to face the sun better. Not only that, but the panels can soak up extra solar rays from the backside of the panels bouncing off the ground. How cool is that? There are so many ways to use the Delta II. The most obvious is keeping things like your refrigerator powered on in your house if the grid goes out. I plugged our refrigerator in and it only dropped 25% over 3 hours. You could use it for construction projects, your RV, camping off the grid. I can pretty much take my smart home with me. That's glamping on another level. The technology in the Delta II is also pretty incredible. It can charge from 0 to 80% in 50 minutes using their X-Boost fast charging when it's plugged in. It also uses an LFP battery, so the lifespan will be extremely long. You can discharge it 3,000 times and it will still maintain 80% of its original capacity. Basically, it's going to last years. The Delta II is also lighter than the previous version and can be connected with an extra battery for more capacity. Seriously, this thing is more than a battery, and with the crazy heat waves, blackouts, and power outages, this is so nice to have in case of emergency. Plus, if you ever need an outlet around your house, you always have one. Check it out in the links below. Okay, now back to these solar Eufy cams. There's a few different spots I installed these, and the sun shines on them differently. First, I put one Eufy Cam 3 on a pole in my backyard. The pull mount I'm using fits the new mount very well, and I'll link those down in the description. This spot is perfect for a camera like this because it gets so much sunlight, and it can be put up anywhere you want since there's no wires. I had the older S40 2K solar camera mounted here for about a year, and it stayed at 100% battery all year long. That's awesome. The camera installed on the front of my house is on the north side. This means it doesn't get as much sun, and even though it's not under the roof eave, it still doesn't get lots of direct sunlight because the sun mainly shines on the south side. So you might need to get a little strategic on where you mount it. But as of now, the battery level on the camera on the north side is still at 100%. That's after recording more than 90 events. And well, that's way better than any battery camera could have done after that many recordings. This little solar panel is pretty powerful. Another thing Yuffie has been raving about is the Bionic Mind AI. It's human, vehicle, pet, and face detection, and it works pretty well. You will even be able to use this on existing Yuffie cameras that are connected to the new Homebase 3. So let's say your old Yuffie camera does not have person detection. Well, you connect it to this new Homebase, and now it will have person, vehicle, and pet detection. So it will be a lot more accurate and only be triggered by things that you want it to, and not something like tree branches. It's pretty cool, and it can detect multiple people and pets at once. But when it saw Luna, it did not consider her a real pet. If Yuffie had a large rodent feature, maybe she would have got picked up by that. With Bionic Mind AI, it can also recognize faces. You can take a picture or upload one so it knows your face or family members. It did a pretty good job recognizing me in the backyard, since it had a more clear view of my face, even with my hat on. In the front, the camera is higher up and pointing down, so it spotted me less since the hat blocked my face until I looked up. I was really excited to take advantage of this feature, because I only want alerts on my phone when it sees a stranger, and not me or my family. 
To enable this, it's buried deep in the settings, and even once I enabled it, the feature did not work. I still got notifications saying that someone was detected, so obviously Eufy has some bugs to work out. And I am using the beta version of the app, so things might get better. Okay, if you're looking for smart home integrations, you'll notice it doesn't work with Matter. But hold up, put down the pitchforks for at least a second, because Matter, it doesn't even support cameras yet. It's not even possible. But what is possible, and you might want to pick up that pitchfork again, is that these cameras do not work with HomeKit Secure Video. And I'm a little confused at why they made this decision, since a lot of the Eufy cameras in the past have worked with HomeKit Secure Video. And I think a lot of people were really wanting it. There's also still an issue I want to mention that has been on Eufy cameras for some time now. If a camera is being stolen and the sync button is held down, all the footage for that camera is erased from the home base. This is obviously a glaring issue, and I wish Eufy would fix this bug. With all that said, I still think this new Eufy Cam 3 is the best wireless camera you can get right now. The 4K footage during the day is very crisp, and the night vision looks great if you're not using the color night vision with the spotlight. The basically infinity battery life with some direct sunlight, expandable storage, and no fees on top of it all are everything I would want in a wireless camera. I'm curious to hear if this is something you'll get, or if any of the issues will be a deal breaker for you. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Look at you, Luna. No wonder Yuffie doesn't think you're a dog. Ah! No, that's a prairie dog. You need to be a real dog. Ah! Okay, that's a dog. <laughs>